I have two types of worms attacking my tomato plants. I know the hornworm, but what is the dark worm with the stripe and where do they both come from? And this is from Miss Mary in Mount Juliet. So two types. She knows the hornworm, but what's the other worm? The yellow striped army worm, I think. Yellow striped army worm is what that is. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, that's what that is. Where do they come from? They both come mm -hmm. from moths, moths. Yeah. <laughs> but not the same one. Not, not the same, same one. one. Not the same one, one. Okay. right. Mm -hmm. The yellow striped army worm comes from a little brown moth, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. and it doesn't have a special name. Uh, Spodoptera, or not for that, Galley, I can't pronounce that. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's, it's, it's Spodoptera. <laughs> Spodoptera is the genus. Yeah. Uh, the tomato hornworm, on the other hand, a tomato hornworm comes from a five spotted hawk moth. Uh -huh. That's okay. the hawk moth. And the uh, tobacco Sphinx. hornworm, Carolina sphinx yep, moth. The they're a real big moth that you see. And they are big. Yeah, yeah. they're big. They're they, big. They look like a, you know, they're, they're yeah. probably four inches across mm -hmm. when they're spread Oh, out. yeah. And uh, they're pretty big. They do a lot of damage, huh? Uh, but they're kind of attractive, but you only uh, see them at night. At right? night, You know, most moths are, are nocturnal. But uh, that's what you got there. And it looks like you see the, 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 the on the hornworm, all of yeah. the, the cocoons. Parasitized. They've been parasitized by right. a wasp. Oh, yeah. By the okay. bracketed wasp. Yeah. Yeah, so, so I will leave that one alone. Leave it alone. That's uh, right. Miss Mary, I wouldn't worry about that one. That yeah. one's already taken care of. It's a okay, beneficial right. producing factory. That's, that's right. right. That's good. Yeah. 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 Nice picture, though. I mean, you have yeah. two of those actually on the one plant. I thought that was pretty nice. But if you want to control those, <laughs> why would you go about controlling them? Probably one thing you might do a little spray, something to read the labels, like probably like melathon would be a good thing to do on there. Uh, maybe with dipel, you think that'd be working on that for you? Yeah, I think BT would probably yeah, be your BT, best bet. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. dipel or yeah. javelin would you be. You want to do that. But I think wait, wait a couple of days after you do that before you do another application on there. Right, mm -hmm. right. Yeah, but I'd definitely go with the dipel yeah, yeah, first. Yeah, yeah mm -hmm. dipel or javelin, BT mm -hmm. product. We hope you enjoyed the video. We have hundreds more. To subscribe, just click below.